All right, folks, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing, baby. We are just getting out here. It is a, uh, it looks like we got some water temperature roughly around, well, that's 36. That's just because the transducer is out right now. That's about the, that is the air temperature. But I believe the water temperature today is going to be something around 40, 45, maybe even up in the high 40s. And that's because we've had an extreme warm warm up we've got bluebird days we are out here early in the morning and we're going to be searching for crappies haven't fished for a while to be quite honest with you so this is going to be fun kind of seeing what's going on we've had a lot of high winds a lot of storms that type of stuff and so uh, we're going to try to get on for you well we just found a ton of fish look at this this line of fish hopefully you guys can appreciate that um We'll kind of scroll it in here to give you, give you even a better feel for it. But there I am coming in right there. We're just going to see if we can't get, if these guys are eaters or not. And there's our first fish. Didn't really catch it on, but you can obviously see this massive pile of fish. Um, and a lot of times if you just, and it's a good size fish too. A lot of times you just put it in the middle of them, somebody's gonna get fed up with it. And that's a solid start here. Three pound fishing, second cast of the day. That is a beautiful black crappie. all right second fish of the day he gonna be a good one too as we're talking about folks let me show you what i'm working with here this is uh this is a good fish about the same size as that other one totally different school different area on the lake but uh solid fish working with that three pound fishing 30 second ounce head standard monkey milk paddle tail from three pound fishing this is the sniping braid and a prototype rod playing with. So I'll tell you what, you get all these products at threepoundfishing.com. Check it out. Um, that helps three pound fishing out. And uh, they're great products. Use them every single day on the guide trips. If you're interested in guide trips, you certainly can reach out to me. They're filling up quickly for the springtime. But I'll tell you what, honestly, there's no better time than now. Might sound weird, but the winter bite is an incredible bite. Fat fish and lots of them. I tell people that every time. It is the time to book if you can withstand some of the cold. And we, you know, I don't want to be cold either. I don't want to be. So uh, we always look at the weather. Here he comes. Uh, should be a good fish. Just vertical jigging. Right there, solid fish, folks. Vertical jigging. Look at this, straight down on them. These guys are just hanging out down there. Pretty deep, deeper than I want to fish. But, and these guys could be even be bass. They're so pretty little. There's one. Oh yeah, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing on this monitor right now. It's, they're kind of all over the place, to be honest with you folks. It's a, I mean, that's winter fishing. Good fish right there, but. Look, we've got a structure here. You can see that right there, a structure there, and they're hanging out around that structure, swimming to and from the bank. And so what I'm doing is just trying to really key in on what bait is working best. Right now I'm using the one of the special colors I got on three pound fishing, which is the ghost, speckled ghost. It's
There we go. That was a good example of taking off your split shot and really slowing it down. And you all of a sudden saw, and this is a good fish, you all of a sudden saw how many active fish were there when you slow down that presentation. That is a solid fish right there, folks. I hope you guys can see that. That was awesome. And what I did, so special technique, let's talk about that. Taking off the split shot and slowing up the bait. So, yes, it's, and we've got windy conditions today, so it's not as easy to cast that bait. There it is falling in again in these type of conditions, but I'll tell you what, slowing it up really made a big difference. All of a sudden I had three or four fish coming at it versus, you know, bear, and there's another one. So when you really slow it up, that becomes on a tough bite. That really is a great winter crappie fishing tip. I guess in general, it's probably a great tip. Just slowing it up so much where they can't handle it anymore. Man, that's awesome stuff. All right, so we're gonna try a different bait. We're gonna see whether or not uh, the vibration from the paddle tail matters. This is the uh, silver lining uh, minnow style that we have on the website. Again, paired up with that 32nd ounce orange head, which I mean, I'm telling you right now, folks, if you don't know, these baits are the best jig heads you're gonna find. Perfect eyelets for that sniping braid and everything else you would ever use. So had so many compliments and emails about these jig heads. So that's not a selling thing. I'm just telling you right away, get quality jig heads and these are good and affordable jig heads. So let's put this to the test now. No paddle tail, this is just a straight minnow. All right, so this is again the silver lining and it's tough to get it out there to be honest with you 30 second ounce jig you have to really whip it out there having a good quality 10 footer is is key there in my opinion but i did get it out there so it's moving really slow now through the group and they're definitely you know they're interested in it yep here we come we got one coming up here we got all right falling in this will be the Let's have, this is the second, third. Oh, we got one on the second cast. How yeah, about the third cast? This is a good fish too. So I don't know if it matters. I think if you, I think it's all about that slow presentation. This is that silver lining. This is a good fish again. This is probably the big fish of the day so far. It's kind of a gosh dang, folks. Look at this fish. This is kind of unique. Now this is a you know not a black nose. It doesn't look like, but look how it has to start black line right there as if it's going to become a black nose or it was or it was kind of in the whatever that is i'm just saying it looks like it but that's a beautiful fish come on now that's freaking awesome that's that's probably the big fish of the day so far and that came on that silver lining bait and again i tie my sniping braid straight to the jig and the, the you know the obviously the problem people mostly will have with a with a micro braid is that it will fall through the imperfections on the eyelet happened to me a ton before I came out with my own jigs and uh, I'd have to go through the the, uh, the eyelet twice but not anymore eyelets are perfect on these jigs and so it's critical and I just like the little pop it when I'm going through these these big piles now and it's going right through it um, and usually right here at the end, you're going to find one here that's interested. So, I don't know. Alright, we're going to mix it up. We're going to go back to, let's go with the Blue Monkey. Blue Monkey, going back to a paddle tail. And seeing if that matters. Again, no weight on it, so we're going slow presentation. Now, we got a ton of fish here. Check it out. A ton of fish here. They've probably been stacking up because of the wind. It's in this cove. I haven't even gone all the way back to this cove yet. Um, but water temperature at 47 degrees, that's that's pretty good water temperature. I'll tell you what, they should be pretty active. But who knows, they might be eating in a different time slot. Now another way to slow this bait up even more is to put it on a float. So um, I'm just not a float fisherman. So um, I, go, I go based off of feel and what I see on the live scope. And 
float fishing is is a sight fishing where you're looking you're staring you're watching that float you know every little subtlety it would be a little tougher today with a float too with the wind um, but that would be another way to slow it down oh yeah look at that line look at that sun just shimmering baby this is a good fish good fish you love it man that's just freaking awesome stuff that is a slab baby that blue monkey does the trip hey folks thanks for joining me i appreciate you i really do and uh enjoy the winter time i'm gonna keep giving out videos try to do it twice a week like i always do and uh please subscribe that helps three pound fishing out and uh have a great one